I just wanted to go back to the situation in the Middle East. What you seem to find is we're crystallizing uh, an axis of Turkey, Qatar, uh, with ISIS being uh, protected by them, or they're soft on ISIS, and probably Hamas goes in that group too. And since the British have now said they will not do any uh, air attacks, and I think that means Iraq too, we have Britain, Turkey, Qatar, ISIS, uh, Hamas. I think that's, uh, that's a constellation. The other one, of course, is the people who are sincerely opposed to ISIS. That would be Iran, Syria, Hezbollah. And we might want to look at Egypt and the United Arab Emirates, because remember, they did that airstrike into Libya to attack the Kumu Ansar al-Sharia uh, terrorist forces. Now, we've just had a meeting in Jeddah. Kerry went there to Saudi Arabia. Present were Egypt, Jordan, Lebanon, Iraq, Saudi, Qatar, the Gulf Cooperation Council, and Turkey. And the demands were pretty meek. Please stop financing ISIS, especially by your private citizens and bankers. Stop glorifying ISIS on Al Jazeera of Qatar and Al Arabiya of the Saudis. Please mobilize your scholars, your ulema, to condemn them with fatwas. Um, Egypt, I think, already moving in that direction. Uh, and then there's this unfortunate thing about a training base. You do not want Saudi Arabia training anybody because they'll turn out to be pretty much looking like uh, ISIS. Now, today, Turkey has, uh, um, they're hosting Kerry. And remember, the Turkish position now is Turkey refused to sign even this bland, vague support declaration for Kerry yesterday. Turkey is saying there'll be no use of Turkish bases for any attacks on ISIS. Hey, wait a minute. Those are NATO bases. And the U.S. has been paying through the nose military aid to Turkey. So, hey, Erdogan, you want to go with the U.S.? You want to go with the Muslim Brotherhood, a useful alternative. And um, they also... Um, you know, they, they don't want to cooperate in any way. And they hide behind the fact they say, oh, please have pity on us. We have 50 uh, diplomats who were seized in northern Iraq. Uh, this is a cover story. So now on Sunday, Kerry will go on to, uh, to Egypt. Um, I think that's um, very interesting.